Hello Wayne Hills, good morning and welcome to this week's special edition of the Video Morning Announcements. I'm Drew Ziegler and I got the opportunity to interview 2025 class advisor Mr. Hittinger about the upcoming 3v3 basketball tournament on Monday, hosted by the class of 2025. Hello and welcome to our preview of the class of 2025 second annual 3v3 basketball tournament. I'm Drew Ziegler and I'm joined by class advisor Mr. Hittinger, who is the one that has made all of this possible. Good morning, Drew. Great to be with you. I want to give a shout out to our entire student council members, Drew one, being one of them, also Ms. Camano, and they've also been doing a tremendous job preparing us for this 3v3 tournament. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah, so there's a lot to go over, Just, but first, going back to last year, it was a great time starting off this new tradition that our class has. What was your favorite parts of last year? Yeah, well, I mean, we had some snow last year. Thankfully, we were still able to have school and had a, a decent turnout. Um, I think my favorite uh, part of the entire tournament was seeing Coach Russo, Coach Staggers at the end, uh, taking on the champions. And that's going to be, I think, one of the more interesting things this year that we'll, we'll talk about um, is that we have the potential to see some faculty teams. This year, we've got two faculty teams taking on some of the students, including a potential matchup with last year's champions. Of course, the one caveat to that, Sean Lemchak uh, injured this year and will not be uh, playing. So, th so that could be an interesting storyline to look at. Yeah, Richie's team there loses a great player for them, obviously being one of those contending teams. But are there other some of your other favorite matchups coming up this year? Uh, yeah, we have uh, potentially, if we see uh, how the first round goes, you see there's a good shot, shot that we've got freshman and sophomore basketball players taking on senior basketball players. That is going to be uh, really exciting to see teammates, how they end up uh, playing each other uh, at the Gifford, something that they're maybe not used to or that they're used to seeing in practice, not in as competitive of a setting. Another great thing that I, uh, I'm really proud of is we've got two all-female teams this year, not including the faculty teams. Um, and uh, it will be real interesting to see if they can make a run at the title. Yeah, we did not have that last year, but definitely adding senior players like Sienna Schuster and Jalen James and they're all great girls basketball players for that team coming off a county championship, so they could definitely make some noise in the tournament. If Palafonte is shooting threes like she did in the county title game, they have a very good shot at going all the way. To my last question for you, what are some of the compelling storylines you have for this year's tournament? Compelling storylines. First, can last year's champions repeat? Secondly, Will we see a team that did not play in last year's tournament make a run and win it all? I think that's very, very possible, and we would love to see as many people come out and see some of these compelling matchups. Uh, again, you can buy tickets from student council members beforehand for $2. You can buy tickets at the door for $3. We're looking forward to a great, great day of basketball to get us set for March Madness, and there's no school the next day after that. So we're looking forward to a great time, Drew. Yeah, we had a great time last year, but what could make it even better is more people showing up and watching and cheering on our teams because the more people, the better. And that's going to wrap up our preview to this year's tournament. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Hinger, to yep. talk about this tournament, and we're looking forward to it. Anytime. We'll see you guys on Monday afternoon.